Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Chicago back with another video for the Chicago Bros. As always, we have another banger. And you guys absolutely went crazy. It is my number one video so far as I'm recording this by far. And because of that, I knew I had to come back with another video, a part two. And we could do so many parts of this. But anyways, for today's video, I got Justin of Energy. Because, you know, Squishy, the clickbait man himself, but I, you guys love him, obviously. And it worked, but I'm like, okay, what about maybe a star player of energy? I was like, who better to do than Justin? You know, the man himself, the mechanical god, maybe the greatest mechanical player of all time. You know, it's, it's definitely up there, probably the dude. But anyways, as always, make sure to leave a like, comment, bro. You guys have been going crazy. Sub, it's free. Share the video. I see you guys. You guys are going absurd. But as always, keep killing it. But we're going to get straight into this one. If you guys did not know or see the last one, basically, the series, I just go into a single player's replay and for example this was the championships SSG versus energy and I'm going I'm on Justin's POV and I'm just gonna try and explain and give you my thoughts on what Justin does that helps his team as well as makes him so good so uh, yeah let's just get straight into it now I've seen a lot of your guys' suggestions I'm gonna turn this down a little bit I saw someone saying they want a little bit of game sound but it's I can't think but um, yeah I saw you guys suggesting you want typical miss Rettles, J naps like all these players Garrett now I could do that and you guys are gonna keep letting me know who you want but the thing is we could do this series for almost every pro so I think we can just keep it we will keep the series going you know oh my god right off the bat are you kidding me so Justin the, the third man of energy I think most people would say the one who sits back the farthest but then gets to do these crazy plays he gets he saves his boost on defense he didn't boost because he didn't have to so he saves it for this challenge where he does typical and then look at that first touch. That is just crazy car control. He hits it with the part of a car, a certain part of his car, so it dies and he can continue the air dribble. And the fact that he almost scores that, that's just a highlight real play on its own. The control he beats, he's basically beat all three defenders at once, which is those mechanical players, what you expect out of them and what make them so good that they can literally just beat all three mechanical players, like all three defenders, sorry. But watch. So Justin did that play, right? That crazy catch. He beat Sipical, who was the first man. He stopped the the uh, defensive threat or the offensive threat for space station S gets that crazy soul play and because of it uh garrett and squishy get a goal out of it so if we go back again justin has that solo play garrett's it's on the goal line but garrett doesn't want to commit now garrett gets next up he fakes the double and because of it they have all the pressure now as is she's on the back foot because of that justin solo play and that's just justin things right there that that first goal he might not have gotten the assist or the goal but that's what that that goal was a lot justin a lot of justin causing it again being a nuisance on the ball he's gonna rotate back here gets the back boost right here that is a difference right here we might have saw squishy just try and get pads and stay in the play but here we see justin going back for the big boost so that that is a little difference i've noticed so far again good challenge kind of stopping a threat even goes for a bump which is out of the ordinary for justin he's probably like i wish i didn't do that but yeah, you definitely don't see Justin bumping a lot. Gets that big boost once again. Good read. Gets a crazy amount of power that it booms it over Sipical and it's a pass of Squishy. But here he's probably going to rotate behind Garrett because it's super awkward for him. Going to let Garrett go because he's the better touch. Now, honestly, I don't know what Justin was thinking. He, pro he probably thought Squishy had a touch if I had to guess. Um, but if he... I think he much rather would have gone to backboard a lot earlier because if SSG played this right that could have been easily a drop down to a pass for a goal and then there's Arsenal being Arsenal but yeah I think Justin's kind of misplayed but that all kind of stemmed down even though Arsenal's drop down was a little bit rough it still ended up being a goal because they kept possession but yeah I think just a little bit of a misplay by Justin there but that's usually uncharacteristic Justin's Gets a lot of credit for his offensive solo plays and his just capability on the offensive side as well as goal line defense. But his decision making is like the stuff that people don't usually understand that he's usually never making mistakes in rotations or when to challenge for stuff. Like he's not jumping at, for example, he's not jumping at this ball. Like he could jump at this ball, but Arsenal would just beat him and leave Squishy alone for who knows, or Garrett alone for who knows how long. And then that's just a bad challenge. But instead he doesn't jump and now he's right back in net. He didn't waste any boost. He's got full. And he's right back in the play. Just right here. Rettle's kind of trolling. But again, here's the solo play. Boom, dunk. Just like that. Two solo plays, two goals for energy. But one thing, uh, 
that I think Justin does really well from what I've watched before and watching now is if you guys ever watch Justin on defense, he doesn't really boost unless he absolutely has to. So that's such a good way to, you know, save your boost. And for when the time comes, when you need to make a challenge, when you can go on offense, when it is your turn to hit the ball, basically, you have all that boost to, to make a play. But a lot of players, sometimes they use all their boost getting back to defense because like, I don't want to get scored on. Let me rush back. Boom. And they rush back and then they're like, oh, it's my turn to go for the ball. And now I have no boost. What am I going to do? Honestly, don't really know what Justin's going for there, but it worked out somehow to back pass the squishy perfectly. Again, Justin not going for a ball that he's going to get B2s. Instead, just going to rotate behind, play it smart. So a lot of through squishy and Justin's video, or squishy's video last one and the Justin, energy, I haven't watched Garrett yet, but those two players are very smart when it comes to challenging and not diving at stuff that will throw him out of the play. So right here, does a really good job of realizing he has space so instead of just booming and giving a right to rattles off the first touch he's like okay i'm gonna control it try and bait them in a little bit beat a couple defenders now i think he wanted this touch to go a little bit higher or he tried to pass a squishy one or the two or garrett whoever was middle um but basically i think his touch was a little bit lower and not as powerful as he wanted <laughs> oh my god they bumped each other but again justin realizing his space does a good job trying to get defenders now as you can tell just oh my god dude if this turns into another goal this is literally three justin solo plays that have turned into three goals for energy okay it hasn't but that's literally the value of justin in this entire game is his smart challenges and his solo plays that are just so, so threatening he's only had three and he's two for three now that's just a good play by his team right there squishy with a good challenge and then boom he's like all right squishy you go squishy with some good challenging they get this crazy passing play, and Sip's probably so confused at what happened. But, uh, yeah. So far, Justin is just... He's not hitting the ball a lot compared to other players, maybe like Garrett. Um, but his touches are so valuable. Every like every time he makes a touch, or at least I would say 70-plus percent of the time, he's making a touch. It's, it's putting a lot of pressure on the defense, or it's helping his team out a lot. So it's either putting pressure on SSG or helping energy get out of bad situations so right here he's gonna save all his boosts there's no reason for him to boost off the wall touch to himself now not the greatest setup but it ends up working because he just plays the dunk so can't really say anything because it worked but again there's that solo play all right, i think justin just whiffed there i could be wrong though he might, might have gotten called off okay one minute left they're up two goals now if you're energy you want to play smart and just but you still don't want to play uh what's the word you, you don't want to play scared because if you just try and play defense the next minute a good team especially a top team like ssg they're gonna score on you they're gonna find a way to bump solo play dribble do something to score on you again look at that justin like just this mechanics alone like this has nothing to do with team play or rotation this is just pure mechanics and skill in the game and it creates a threat like who gets bumped dries off the reads this bounce backwards and turns it into like a double touch sort of into a th oh, goal scoring chance like garrett almost slots that but that's she saves it like that's just like where justin's pure mechanics can bail you out and again i watch a lot of basketball so if you guys know basketball that's kind of like maybe the other team's playing really good defense but if you have a guy who can make you a tough bucket aka dane lillard steph curry they can just chuck something up but they're that good where it goes in and that's where it's just like that's where you become next level. All right, right there. Garrett was probably a little bit too far back. Um, but again, it, it's kind of tough because Justin becomes really close to hitting that. And as soon as it goes right after Justin, Garrett's too far back. So Arsenal can just, all he has to do is hit around Garrett uh, because of it's a goal. 15 seconds again. That might've been a little bit too defensive, but again, tough. And then a kickoff goal for SSG. I think, let me, I'm just curious. Did Arsenal miss the boost? Okay. Arsenal hard troll. He missed the boost. Unlucky. But Justin gets the goal. Good kickoff. Uh, SSG misplay, basically. But 15 seconds. Want to be smart. They double go for boost. That is actually interesting. I don't think I've ever noticed that from energy. Want to take a 50 here to waste out some time. Just like this. Squishy, get the ball to their side. Because you can get scored on again, right? You just can't get scored on with time left. That's the entire goal. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's it for the Justin episode. 
Now, this series is a lot of fun for me because I don't usually watch a lot of pros like replays all the time like I'm doing now for the year as videos. Now, if, let me know who you guys want more because I know you're going to want more. We could do Garrett, Miss, Sipical, Kate up, uh, literally part twos of people when it comes down to it. Um, but you guys gotta let me know down in the comments below. Like, keep liking, subscribing. It's free. Your boy loves it. Chicago Bros are going crazy right now. Keep it up. Because these videos are so fun to make when I see the channel booming like this. It's actually, it's just like, I'm like, I can't wait to record this. But anyways, that's gonna do it for your boy. I hope you guys stay safe. Morning, afternoon, dust, dawn, wherever you're at. Um, have a good one. Be safe. But your boy's gonna piece it. See ya.